I can't care for anything like I care for mass. Trust me, I've tried. There is something about anyone who can turn anguish and pain into a radiant enough celebration to bring sun where there was once a constant, unending rain. Yeah, I call that a love language. In fact, I call mass a love language. When slavery was abolished, it was the first time that the enslaved people were actually allowed to be on the streets and they took to that streets that very first day and dressed up in costumes. They were actually mocking their former slave masters, so they were pointing a mirror at them. The people that came during the Windrush era were very proud. They came here on the basis of wanting to rebuild the motherland on the request of the mother. They didn't come here as beggars, they came as educators, teachers, they worked in the public sector, you know, are very well respected people. Emancipation be the freeing of someone, their masquerades be the first place we could have a ball of our own, take back our throne and laugh at those in homes with more rooms inside than they have morals inside. And here's our ancestors reminding us that they are still here that they are still here with us, living in the wind or the gush, living through before or during the wind rush. How did I get into mass? Um, through my family, really. It's always run in the family. Ever since I was knee high, I've been going to carnival since I was about six years old. Legacy is important to carry on because it's actually quite hard to start up a carnival band from scratch. And where it's been going on for so many years, I reckon, in my opinion, it'd just be stupid to throw it away. It's warm, it's just warm. Everyone's just having fun, being happy. Like, you just see people from different countries coming. It's something that just braces the culture. I, I love carnival. I'm Jamaican as well, so it's something we just love to do, dance. So we gave the best show this city has ever seen It be like Trini through the centre of West When we dress in our best and not looking to impress Just to press a little rum to our lips And tell our story through our hips We still invite you to see what you couldn't take from us Whilst dancing and laughing joyously upon the street Mangrove as a band was born out of activism and, and standing up for social justice. So it's something that we've always maintained and kept throughout the 40 odd years history of the band. Mangrove as a community was a, a, a safe space for people from all over the Caribbean to come to in a time where you know it, it wasn't mo the most welcoming thing for immigrants to be in London, especially if you were black. Mangrove Mask Band and Steel Band is born out of the Mangrove community, which most people will know for the famous Mangrove Nine trial. Well, the Mangrove trial was the case when it was first said actually in a court of law by the judge that the Metropolitan Police were institutionally racist. So it was a landmark case for black people up and down the country. Mangrove is what started the front line. This used to be the front line, by the way, called Centre Road. It used to be the first front line before Brixton. Mangrove started it all. Everybody that was anybody used to go down there, gamble, let's have gambling, uh, gambling all night. Um, everybody that sold a little weed was always around here. People would just drive by and it wasn't a thing where people had bags. You'd have a, someone with a big bag and they'd just take out a hand. And it was all in bookie paper. They'd go to the bookies and get their paper and then that's it, that's what you want. But that's what it was. Mangrove was a was, was black man town. And for a second, I really did believe anything at carnival can happen. Anybody or anything can be healed. Any evil can be killed. And only good, good, sweet things can come from it. And I sip my ting and I taste that rum and I spark something green and I remember that there's nothing in the world that's this.